Meghan Markle said she may be heading to Washington, D.C. soon to make her voice heard after pledging to show up for causes close to her heart. The Duchess of Sussex discussed her reaction to the U.S. Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade, a 1973 ruling which granted abortion rights across the 50 states, in a new interview. Meghan also outlined how committed she is to campaigning for gender equality on top of reproduction rights. And she suggested she may head in the future to the U.S. Capitol to campaign for an issue close to her heart alongside her friend and fellow feminist Gloria Steinem. In an interview held after the overturning of the Roe v. Wade ruling, Meghan also mentioned her work behind the scenes with Ms. Steinem to get the Equal Rights Amendment, ERA, ratified. This amendment to the U.S. Constitution has been long supported by campaigners and would guarantee equal legal rights for all American citizens regardless of sex. Asked if the ERA is an issue she wants to tackle, Meghan told Vogue, without question. Being home, seeing what's happening in our country and feeling energized and motivated, if this is the type of legislation that we need pushed through, then this is a moment that I am absolutely going to show up for. Not just because it's what we need as women, but it's what we need as people. Chiming in, Ms. Steinem added, the ERA has been ratified by the requisite number of states and we should put the pressure on the White House and Congress to enact it. To which the Duchess said, well, Gloria, maybe it seems as though you and I will be taking a trip to D.C. together soon. Meghan, who was born and raised in California, left her home state in the 2010s to take part in the filming of the procedural TV show Suits. In 2018, prior to her marriage to Prince Harry, the Duchess relocated to England to begin her life as a working member of the firm. Meghan returned to California with Harry and their son Archie Harrison in late March 2020, days before the Duke and Duchess officially stepped down as senior members of the royal family. After staying for a few weeks in the Los Angeles home of producer Tyler Perry, the Duke and Duchess moved into a mansion in the star-studded neighborhood of Montecito, in Santa Barbara. Since stepping down as a working royal, Meghan has become more vocal about humanitarian and political issues, something full-time working members of the firm are normally barred from doing. During an interview with the 19th held following protests sparked in the wake of the death of George Floyd, the Duchess expressed her desire to get involved in campaigning for causes close to her heart in the U.S., including racial equality. She said, From my standpoint, it's not new to see this undercurrent of racism and certainly unconscious bias, but I think to see the changes that are being made right now is really, it's something I look forward to being a part of. And being part of using my voice in a way that I haven't been able to of late. So, yeah, it's good to be home. During the summer of 2020, Meghan was vocal about voter registration and the importance of casting the ballot during that year's U.S. presidential elections. She took part in Michelle Obama's When We All Vote Online event, during which she said people who relinquished their right to vote were complicit. Meghan also joined forces with Ms. Steinem on voting rights and voter registration, cold calling Americans to urge them to get out and vote. The Duchess and Ms. Steinem first sat down for a public chat two years ago, during which they also discussed women's rights. At the time, Meghan said her husband Prince Harry is also a feminist. The Duke himself had made a similar statement during a visit to tomorrow's Women Wirral, a women's charity based in the UK.